Hey everyone, Chupa Reptiles here. Justin. <laughs> Come on. Good, good kitty. He and Gizmo's actually right there too. Okay. First of all, I want to start out by talking, saying thank you to all 50 subs. Let's get that to 100 and we can get this draw going for a free reptile. And I'm even paying for the shipment. All you gotta do is pick the reptile. So come on guys, hit that sub, uh, subscribe button and like, Chip and let's, funny. as soon as we get to 100 subs, we are going to do the contest. Now, today's a kind of morbid subject day, but uh, I gotta talk about eventually death. Let's talk about death in big collections. It's going to happen. It, 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 you can't, you can't do, mm, I'm trying to, it's not always the keeper's fault. Sometimes you do everything right and the reptile just dies. I lost uh, expensive male breeders this morning for ball pythons that uh, I got in an order. His mates are all good, but uh, he, I don't know, he was all good until about two days ago. And then I noticed he wasn't moving around as much and he didn't have strength in him as much. And then he just went downhill. Thank you. Um, so it's going to happen. Don't blame yourself. It's not your house. house eh, it's not the way you're keeping them. It's not your fault. You're fe if you're feeding regularly, got a clean cage, got water, got heat, got what you need. Can you please stop for a second? It, it's not going to be your fault. So on that subject, um, it hurts. Oh yeah, it hurts. Especially when you lose. I lost an expensive meal breeder. And it hurts, but uh, you just gotta live on. You can't cry over spilt milk. And uh, I'm just gonna have to look for a replacement. But it does happen, and you don't always blame you yourself, guys. It's gonna happen, especially in large collections. When you have large collections, two, three hundred snakes, you're gonna have a death once in a while. It's not gonna be your fault. He he could have came in sick. I don't know. He just got out of quarantine. I've only had him for four months. But like I said, his mates, they're all good. So maybe he came in with something. I'm not blaming myself. Everybody else looks good. They're on I looked at his feeding cart. He's ate regularly until like I said two days ago he refused a meal and I checked on him this morning. I checked on him yesterday. He was, because I check on my animals daily. He was, he was a little wobbly. But I knew something was up. And then, uh, today he's gone. So, can't cry over spilt milk. And uh, let's get the subs up to 100 so we can get the contest going. And let's get a free animal out to you guys. Talk to you later. Have a, have a great day. Bye.